Howdy folks, Synthetic Mason here, and today we're going to break it up with the Bumblebee movie cast. Yeah! <laughs> so it gives you an idea here. My usual tiny formers. I have a tiny human in there to give you scale. Um, some of these guys are not final. Um, I'll sort of explain as I go down the list. Uh, we'll start off with the star, of course. Bumblebee. That's right. So for this one, um, I redesigned... Wanted to make a brand new, fresh bumblebee, a little larger, um, but kind of more complex, better transformation. Yeah. Uh, so for his transformation, we've got a little, as rounded as I could make it, Volkswagen Beetle. You'll notice I need to replace that with a yellow one. Don't have the part yet. A brick link is a headache. I'll do it. I'll do it. Anyways, so for transformation, I'm going to start by bringing his hood section around. Drop down the bottom, which will be the legs. Actually bring down the back, turn them around. And then now what we'll do is we'll actually rotate these sections. Oops. So that they look more like shoulders than the hood of the car. And there's little Bumblebee. Ready to kick butt. Um, and then color blocking kind of works out for his uh, robot mode, where he has like his tires on his feet. His other tires, we'll say, are under his chest, except they're not. They're supposed to be on his back. I do what I can. Next up, drop kick, triple changer. Um, and with both drop kick and scatter, uh, I tried my best. Drop kick and scatter are both definitely a work in progress. I just before shooting this video rebuilt a scatter. Um, so we'll see what you think on that one. But uh, this is the drop kick I've had around for a while. Muscle car. For transformation into the helicopter mode. We're going to bring this down. Flip forward the back end. Unfortunately, parts forming. Remove that so that becomes the helicopter blade. And then there's the tail of the helicopter. Um, that shouldn't be red. I don't have a blue one. I got a red one, so there you go. Uh, and then for robot mode, I'm gonna put the propeller blade back on the tail section. Leave what are now arms forward. Rotate around the propeller section to the front. Bring down the chest all the way. And there you go. Ready to kick butt. Not a bad size comparison between him and uh, Bumblebee here. Yeah. It's a little slanted. You can stand him up some. Next up, I rebuilt Optimus Prime. Um, might be my new favorite version of Optimus Prime. Uh, for him, you know, standard truck. You can kind of see his head, but uh, that's going to be really cool. You guys are going to like this, I promise. So we're going to bring down the legs. Rotate them around. Open the arms out. Once those are open, I'll actually rotate and then bring the arms forward. And there's Optimus Prime. Right? Kind of awesome. Still has his white stripe on his front with the grill and the windshield. Um, unfortunately, you can still see his head, but I just thought that that was a clever trick and gave a very G1 minimal two-step changer kind of vibe. So yeah. And Shatter. Now Shatter's my favorite. I love this character. Um, I really want to build a big version. Um, I've made about five attempts at it. I can make a car that turns into a robot and I can make a jet that turns into a robot. But merging the two is very hard. <laughs> Um, for instance, car mode here doesn't look so great. Kind of see it. Looks more like an SUV. Like I said, work in progress on this one, for sure. Uh, but for transformation into jet, we're going to bring out the wings, rotate them 180 degrees. We will then bring up the hood 
and bring back the wings. So it kind of acts as like the wings and the tail of a jet. And then on the front section here, we'll actually rotate around and bring forward. So that there's her jet mode. It, yeah, it's more Cybertronian jet mode. <laughs> uh, it's tough. For uh, robot mode, we will bring up the faux nose cone, bring down the arms while they're in the reverse position, bring forward the uh, wheel wells and chest bits, and there you go. And now it kind of gives her that look of like the wings are hanging off of her back. Yeah. I like the bot mode. Alrighty, folks. Not Starscream. <laughs> Blitzwing. Um, super proud of this guy. He's kind of big and, and weird shaped, but it all works for a purpose. Um, in the movie, he was an exceptionally large jet. And, I mean, scale next to a Volkswagen Beetle is definitely more believable than some of my other jet formers. Um, but for transformation on him, it's a little bit more in-depth. Uh, so let's get to it. For starters, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these front sections. And without breaking him in 10,000 pieces, we're going to rotate those all the way forward. We'll put that back on. And play go. It all goes back together. Um, so bring those front two sections forward. Once we have that done, we'll come down here, bring out the legs slash landing gear, fold him in half, kind of see him taking shape here, um, fold out and down the rockets to become his arms, and then actually just rotate his backpack, and then I like to give his feet on sort of a, darn it, I like to make him sort of stand at an angle. Come on, find that sweet spot. There you go. And that is Blitzwing. You want him to have his can in hand, you just stretch it out and pew, pew, pew. <laughs> so there they are, folks. Um, I've got a few others in the work, as usual. Uh, for instance, from the movie, we saw a whole slew of the cast. And I want to eventually go down the line with what I can. Now, I didn't have the parts to build Ironhide, who we saw in the film. But because he's a repaint mate, I did make... A ratchet in what I was hoping to be Bumblebee verse. Um, so as a size comparison, let's get Optimus to stand next to him there. So great scale there. And then for um, Ratchet later to be Ironhide when I get the parts, we'll bring down the back section slash legs, part the sides. When we do that. We're going to rotate around his hands and there's Ratchet. So yeah, uh, this has been some Bumblebee movie characters. Um, I will do a tutorial as soon as I figure out if uh, this is going to be how my triple change bounty hunters are going to look. Um, if you like Dropkick and Shatter, let me know. Any of them, please. I'd love to know what you think. Uh, and always, if you can do better, please show me on Instagram. Uh, you'll find me over there, Synthetic Mason. Always feel welcome to send me a message, whether you want to talk about Legos or 
Legos. I do a lot of Lego talking on there. <laughs> um, also, a certain one of my viewers, and I'm going to be doing a video f uh, for them soon, uh, aided me in building a little guy here. Now, this is a similar representation of their build, uh, which is a Cybertronian carrier vehicle. Great story on this guy named Scraphead. Um, I rebuilt him in an Earth form. Um, we'll do a video just for that. Uh, I'll explain the backstory that he came up with, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, remember, guys, the golden rule, the brick it up synthetic mason golden rule. When we build together, we build better. So uh, stay safe, stay home, wear a mask, build a better tomorrow, folks. Thanks.